let's see. Autopsy, autopsy, autopsy. How did it pass the autopsy? Do do do. <clears throat> Maybe I'll just take this over here, I think. And, uh, yeah. <sighs> the tools, the scope, pull that aside. <clears throat> Alright. So let's see. Taking all the case bolts. Oh, there's what I missed. Gosh, it's like a staff heat. So many case bolts. So many. I'm just attempting to take a look at it and take out that blasted AR. So I think this blaster would be good without one. Okay. Looks to me that that's our trigger catch back here. Um, there's our gearbox over there. Got a presto change over slide out my there. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, are you kidding me? Is that on the side? Oh, no. There they are. Slips on the side of the glass. They're on the bottom. They're not where I thought they would be. Okay. Okay. So, uh, we got this bolt over here. Okay. Can I actuate the bolt setup? Remove the AR from here. I think I can. Let's see. Um, it is sort of integrated onto here, over here, over here. Can I pop this out? Let me see here. No, I think it's good. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hello, I like that. We like that a lot. We like that a lot. It puts a spring in there. Okay. Make sure that spring stays where it's at. Do. Do. Should not take you more than that to take this piston assembly out. You got it? So you, you, you take this off. Okay. Take that piece off. And you simply slide it forward and you take it. Now you take this torsion spring so that you're not messing it up. Take it off the main blaster. See this? I saw so many people destroy these. They took off this whole side of the rail and, and this and that and it's like, why did you have to take that off? I bet you this comes off. And the sad thing is, is that manufacturers did not send me that, this blaster, nor did anybody else. I hate to say it, folks, but you probably one of you cats should have sent me one. Because I could have told you very easy that this could slide off. It's just a self-contained unit. No problem. No problem. Okay, so let's see. Is it glued on here? Yeah, it's glued on here. But what else can we do to this blaster? What else can we do? We got, the, we got this back part right here. We got this ratcheted over here. And it looks like it's glued. Um... All right. First and foremost, I'm going to take this apart, and I am going to do a trick to get rid of these, but not today. Right now, I just want to 
Yeah, that means, in reality, that this only has, this only has this much air. That's not a lot of air. That's not a lot of air. I am betting if I seal these two up, we got something. But the problem is, is that you would still sort of have back bypass if, if we didn't seal these roofs perfectly. But what the hell, shits and giggles, right? Shits and giggles. Yeah, let's do it professionally. Let's just do it professionally. Okay, so these grooves point down. This uh, down, this these, these parts right here. All your, all your, all your. I'll go to your side guides, right here. You see these side guides here? Okay. Um, it very easily comes out. Everybody was saying how difficult and hard and unholy this whole assembly was to get out of here. No, 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 no. no. Very easy. Do you have to line this up with this uh, after you're done? Yes. Okay, so let's take out this tube right here. Mm -hmm. What is the right way? It's classified. I know how to seal these. So that it doesn't get messed up, but that's part of my composite knowledge for being the let's punch these three screws right off of here. Okay. It does not take me three assemblies to figure this out. Did I look at some other Centurion videos and I said, I wonder if this happens. I wonder if this happens. I wonder if this happens. Yes, I did. Everybody remembers the fire strike. Does anybody remember, or if you can have one, the front plunger, how it's it, it ratchets in. So if you take it apart and you put in a new spring, it then becomes weaker. Well, that was my secret behind the Ultra Match, is I figured out how to rebond that plunger so it's actually stronger, not weaker. And uh, that's the key here. So I am not going to rush to conclusion on this. What I'm going to do instead is I, and it's got nice little slam pads here. Look at these slam pads. Wow, that's nice. I like that. There goes the AR. There goes the AR ring itself. Okay, that's your tube right there. You've got maybe an inch of buffer length, but the but the, the darts are so soft that I'm betting that's hugging this whole way whole way through. No problem. Okay. After that I've got this over here. <clears throat> This over here has a screw in there, screw in there, <clears throat> it goes back there. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Okay. Yeah, I've got something, it's just gonna, it's gonna not be easy to do. I'm gonna figure out what kind of glue this is. Um, I'm going to dissolve it off of here. When I do, I'm going to get in here and I'm going to resurface the inside of this so it's smooth. And then we're going to wrap a composite around this whole thing. And we're going to get this whole thing. Okay? Because as it sits right now, you've only got that much. You've only got that much air. Is it bigger than a normal retaliator? Yeah. But it's also at the very end of the spring. It's not that powerful. It uses this to accelerate it and it gets it uh, and then the pistons up and then it crashes and boom. Am I really concerned about the reverse piston? No, because that is actually a pole piece inside here. <clears throat> so it looks like they limit the volume concentrically very well. I usually do it on the outside when it comes to, to recons. <clears throat> and this one they do it inside. Very nice. <clears throat> yeah. So Let's get this uh, unholy mess back together. Okay.
to go there. I see. Okay, so there's a little pole here. You gotta hop it before you do that. You wanna make sure that this face is back here, okay? And then you wanna go like that. So this little this little this little piece right here, you wanna make sure that this is oriented correctly beforehand, or you're gonna have problems putting it back together. Um, you wanna make sure you have the right side. And make sure that this anchor part faces down, because that's the exception. But look at this, I didn't have to take apart the gearbox, I didn't have to mess with it, nothing. I didn't have to do a thing, okay? I just had to, yeah, okay. So. sure it's oriented to the right place. Right now, I'm only aiming for a minor trim. I'm not going to do anything drastic to this. I said it already. Okay. Take your three right there. Okay. So I'm simply, I'm simply taking the AR out of there. That's all I'm doing right now. I'm not doing anything else. I'm not doing anything crazy. Watch out for your bolt screws. Definitely. They seem to be a little tricky. I don't know what's doing. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh that's funny. No, I just did. I just put it in the wrong place. <laughs> Alright. Okay. So, put these where plastic's on the other side. Yes. Don't be an idiot. There we go, like I just was. Whatever. Mm hmm. Okay, so what could be done in the meantime? Okay, number one, I could just put a, a thing of packing tape around this. And although it wouldn't have a perfect seal and you would have some gas let off on that, it, can, it would not be total. Not on the first one. Here's the concept. How about just the second one? Why would I do that? Why? Because this would act as an air outlet and the piston would accelerate real fast. So when it hits this and it doesn't have all this to let air out, a lot of this air will go through and it will keep accelerating, you see? Because it, 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 because it has open air. So by the time it hits this, it has accelerated, taken a lot of this with it, and then it goes to, to the place where there's absolutely no air outlet, which now makes it so the slitting becomes gradual. Now, it's just a theory, but I'm going to try it out. Do I think it will work? Maybe. Do we want to fire this like so first, have something to compare it to? Yeah, most definitely. Yep, plastic, plastic. Because you also have holes where your pads are. Yeah, check out the bolt right there. Where the pads are, you know. You also have that. So I just got this. It's gonna be a, a long video. Actually, I'm gonna do a reassembly video. Okay, because I know that this one's already 14, 15 minutes long. Just showing you this. Because again, this is not planned. All I'm doing, that really is going to be fast, man. Wow. That's really going to be fast. Wow. All right. So I'm going to kill this and do a reassembly video. Peace out.